everything, and I got the the vanity edition of The Walking Dead. So, let's get going. All right, first one. Yes, let's play the first one. So, how you guys been doing? <laughs> Me? I'm happy. I'm happy I get to play this one. Yeah, I already know. Standard. Yep. I already know how to play this. I played it before. Beat it. Couldn't do anything else. Because <laughs> when you play the first one, then it saves to the first one <laughs> so let's get to it here we go Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you, Why say, do you that? say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Yeah, You're from Macon. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Mm -hmm. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? No. Nope. Uh, here we go. Uh, you want to know how I see it? Got much, I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh... You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over, right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one step. Mm. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell mm. him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. 
so did, so he, did do he do it? it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Mm. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking drive. This other time. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, oi. Ouch. Oh, my God, there's a bird. Oh, it. That. You never seen this in the remastered division. The, the final vision is really cool. Uh, okay. Come on, me. Yeah, I got this. Ah, hate doing this. But I gotta do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Please, 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 please. Oh, God. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm nervous. I don't know why. This game is really good, but it gets me nervous as heck. Here we go. Oh, uh. Officer. Oh. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Hell are you? Mm-hmm. 
Hello? Anybody? Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Wow. Well, we get that zip line. Look at this. This is so cool. Like, look at the blood. Jesus. Oh God! <laughs> You're covered. <laughs> That's good. That beeping. Three new messages. Message one left at five forty three PM. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Oh, this is Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, God. Why it has to be this hard? Not a monster. monster. Good. What's, What's your, your name? name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where, Where are, are your, your parents? parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. 
They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can yeah. see you through the window. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! I don't like you! Get me away! Run! Oh god, leave! <laughs> Kick you in the face! Get off. <laughs> and one for the money, and two for the show. Did you kill it? <sighs> I think I something think something else. else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Let's get we help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah. Let's go. Stay close to me. So adorable. <laughs> oh man! Why is it look? I ain't never dark. been home to Mama at this rate. Oh, because this of the fan. Oh, it's hot this night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? <sighs> I won't I will leave, leave you, though. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us. Okay. <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, we need we're help. looking for help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. <laughs> I'm just, just some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... 
The monster's come out. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, good. Eh? Here we go. Let's go. Come on, Clem. Go, 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 go. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Excuse me. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. <laughs> well, Breckin down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We need we, uh, a place. Need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Mm -hmm. Oh, not his daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay Jeez. then. Well. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Mm. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Mm. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like hell. Hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Uh, car, accident. car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting um. out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. Mm. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. A police officer. I was officer. with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Aww. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your, son Your son's fine. right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. <sighs> a dead. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. 
I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Mm -mm. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Uh, excuse me. Mm. It smells like... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> Oh, I love her so much. I miss my mom and dad. Mm. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Well, Pretty know. far. Oh, okay. Mm. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hey, get up. Ugh. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. <laughs> Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? <laughs> I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. <laughs> well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. No. Hey there, girls. What so, you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Corpses aren't walking around. <laughs> I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No. no. I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> You, you two, two actually, actually look, look relaxed. Back I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't <laughs> see people eating each other for the past three days. It's mm. peaceful here, no? How, how was did this? you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some, just, just... It's okay. 
It's fine. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say anymore. <clears throat> I want to go home tomorrow. But yeah. even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Yeah. Who Anybody wouldn't? in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with oh. good friends. Mm -hmm. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey, Kenny Benny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. <clears throat> How's, How's your, your son, son doing? doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Mm. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But <clears throat> we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Well, I bet you are. So what's your plan? family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Yeah. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching <laughs> mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need, need any, any help? help? No, I think I got it. Hmm. Do you need any help? What yeah. do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <sighs> no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. Mm. You know. Yeah. See ya. Da 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 So how you guys been doing since the, you know, the stupid outbreak? <laughs> but this game is hey, really Lee. good. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. Mm. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. Mm. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was, was the, the boy, boy one, one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Mm. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Yeah. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Mm. Sometimes mm. it's kill. It's killed. Be killed. To be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? <sighs> My, My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Mm. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. Yeah. Thanks, No problem, man. Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. No. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right. Oh, this is just amazingly beautiful. Mm. Hey, Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, got I got a ride. ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. 
Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Hey! It was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Parents. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Yep. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. <laughs> I'll get my gun. Oh gosh, here we go. I gotta help. There you go. I got you. Get this tractor off of me! Please, help me, please! Oh, okay. I thought I could. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Mm. Didn't mean to do that. This is as far as we're going. Hmm. And it's far enough. Hmm. Look! Uh... Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, Jesus. Fuck!
Either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Mm. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. <laughs> They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's mm -hmm. settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He, he wasn't, wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, shut we're up, about Larry. to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Mm -hmm. Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? Mm -hmm. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. Yes. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <coughs> oh, no. Jesus! <coughs> 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 I shoot you okay? Hmm. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! I gotta get in! Shut up! We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. What 
What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably off. another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. Doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Mm. Damn, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Oku? Okay. Born and raised. Mm. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. There we go. Any more? Honey. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Mm. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here. Yeah. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Mm. We hey, Lee. Hey. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. <laughs> anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome. You Are guys, you guys all right? right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? <sighs> well, her family's, her family's dead, 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 so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's, What's the, plan? the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yeah. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? <sighs> they own this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Dad. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... Yeah, they're dead. Mm. Lee, you got a second? Sure. sure. Yep. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened, it happened pretty happened. fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yeah. I guess. 
Trying to let it go. Yeah. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. <laughs> was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> His cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Yeah. Find anything? Oh. Hello. Uh, it's a phone. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks yeah. around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? <sighs> no. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look. Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Alright guys, I gotta... I gotta pause this. Um, yeah, let me just do something. I'll be right back.
right, back to where we were. Thanks. Nice. Don't worry about it. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Bunch of fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What does your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Because they're dead. Sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. No. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Here you go, puppy. I'll find you a bandage. That's what I figured. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? finger. Ow. It hurt. Hmm. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hmm. Asking me that. 
That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he no, wasn't. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll <laughs> take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially <laughs> one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <sighs> ready, you ready to, to head out? Home? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Mm. You guys are suicidal. Over <laughs> a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. <laughs> Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
was sick. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Wait. What? Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Nice smile. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice box I was told. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Right behind you. Push. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in stop just stop 
Oh, I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Aww. You have a boyfriend? Len. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. Okay. Go. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Yeah. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. <sighs> we can't yeah. let you do that to yourself. And do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Uh. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! Mm. Oh, Glenn. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! <laughs> Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Mm. Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. Mm. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, <laughs> the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Let's, sure. have Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. <laughs> Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? 
We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. Yeah. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah, mm. just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. <laughs> I know. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? <laughs> it's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. <laughs> Well fucking done, Doug. All that <laughs> dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Thank you. I got a few of them to take notice. Mm, but not all. But not enough.
Man, that was close. But we did it. Yeah. That's all that matters. We did do it. Yeah. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I am tired. Took a walk and everything else. You know. Who should I pick? Who should I pick? <sighs> I think I'm gonna help her. Cause I like her. Even though... Thank you. 
Oh gosh. Poor Quinn. There's that woman on top. Ooh. Mm. Oh, oh man, Clementine, it was so awesome. Meanwhile, England, the Atlantis was downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then there's one time mm. Derek and Superdome were going to take the glove off. But Derek had to cover a lot of mega laser plans. Yeah, can you just look at us? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Now I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like it has much to begin with. Hey, Gwen. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, don't do it. Wait, wait. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, if I'm not going to be in trouble. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. We will. See, Glenn. I mean, Glenn. Hey, kid. Hey. Close call back there. Yeah. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man. Do any of us? With <laughs> Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, oh. Kitty. You got it. Mm. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to the way you leave things. Ken, can you just look over it? Hey. Hey, Chloe. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Mm. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. Yeah, but you helped me first. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Me. Yeah. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. Oh man, check this out. Yeah. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like yeah. pow, pow, pow. Look <laughs> at that super dinosaur was <laughs> toast. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> he wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. Yeah. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Mm. Glenn had the other one. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Yeah. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? No, really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh, shut up. I don't like you, Larry. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Sure. <sighs> My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Did you check the glove that guy Doug is dead because of me. <laughs> yeah. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Uh oh. Oh, that's the sound of us winning this thing. <laughs> me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. Stay here uh, until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. <laughs> Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. Mm. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Two, 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 and two. Goodness, this game though. Oh, this game, this game. Hey, hey guys, I just start or uh, ended. So, <laughs> sorry if you guys came late. I yeah. thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Uh. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's oh, beautiful. Geez. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! game hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell when you get the new video uh sorry if this is late so i'll talk to you guys later bye bye